Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and today I'm going to be sharing a book haul from Amazon and bookoutlet.com. I almost said thrift books. No thrift books this time, but bookoutlet.com. You all know how much I love Book Outlet. I have been shopping with Book Outlet for well over a year. They just have amazing prices and honestly, I have found a really good selection of books that are just closeout prices on their website, and I'm going to share those with you, as well as a few goodies from Amazon. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with Amazon first. Okay, so just as like a preface here, I am already starting to gather some items for next year. And you, some of you might think I'm a little crazy when I say that, but being a mom of six kids and having a budget for our homeschool, I like to make sure that I am picking things up as we go, as I make decisions on things, keeping next year in mind. So once it gets to this time of year. So without further ado, let's see what I picked up from Amazon. So we're going to be focusing on the medieval time period for history next year. So this is one of the books that was recommended to do for African history during the medieval time period by Heritage Mom Blog. And so I think you say it's Sundiata or Sundiata. But basically, this is the story of the Lion King, like where that story came from. And the pictures in this are just very, very beautiful. I love how vibrant the colors are. And it's just really, really neat illustrations. And it looks really good. I can't wait to share it with the kids next year. The next thing that I picked up for next year is our little Lily bug. That's what we call her as a nickname. But Lily, as tiny as she is, and as hard as it is for me to believe, is going to be doing kindergarten next year. So I have already been thinking about what I'm going to be doing with her and what I'm going to use. And I don't know what happened to our copy of Old Mother West Wind. I have been through every bookshelf that we have. I think that it possibly got left behind or lost in translation when we moved years back. But I went ahead and grabbed another copy of Old Mother West Wind. And all this is is just different little short stories that are just so much fun to read at that age. So the next one I got is for one of my boys. It is the Ready to Read Level 3 about Mae Jameson. <sighs> Sorry kids in the background, but it's about Mae Jameson, and I wanted to pick this up because we watched, with my older boys, we watched Hidden Figures a few weeks ago, and they have just been loving anything to do with space, and I just thought that, that this would be a really great book for him to read as like some of his assigned reading, and so I grabbed this. So there are two versions that I had in my cart of the Little Pilgrim's Progress, the adaptations of Pilgrim's Progress for children. Next year, with the medieval time period as our history, I thought that this would be an excellent thing to read through as a family. So I have been going back and forth on which version I wanted to purchase. And my friend Katie over at Life in the Mundane, they recently got this one. And this was already in my cart. And it just helped me make my decision seeing um, what hers looked like. But I love, it's got some illustrations. It's very like whimsical. And then the story starts. So I'm really excited about that book. Now, the last thing I got from Amazon before I share what I picked up from Book Outlet is Lily's Math for next year. And I have decided that I am going to be using Math with Confidence. And I am so, so excited about this. So this is written by Kate Snow and it is put out by The Well-Trained Mind. And I have heard excellent things about this math. So I am so excited to do this with her next year. She saw this and she was like, is that my math? <laughs> so I will be sharing more about this if you guys are interested. And I, of course, will be sharing what her full curriculum is for next year in the coming months. Um, so you will have to wait for that. Okay, let's move on to Book Outlet. 
So I will also stick a code down in the description if you're interested in Book Outlet. It is a referral link. And, but through that referral link, you get, I can't remember how much off your first order, but these are the things that I got. Okay, so I got Pompeii Buried Alive for um, one of my sons. It This just looked like something he would really, really enjoy reading. I got this in mind for him for next year. So I will put this with our stack of curriculum that is starting to add up downstairs. So I got that for him. This goes with some of what we're doing with Lily for next year for kindergarten. So I got Angus and the Ducks. I love Marjorie Flack books, by the way. The next one I got is, I'm not sure why we have never owned this book. We check this out literally every year in the fall from our library. And when I saw it on Book Outlet, I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab that. <laughs> All right, so the next book I got was a favorite of my oldest son's when he was in first grade. I still remember when he loved Nate the Great. And so I picked this up because I have some younger ones that have not read this yet. And it's a hardback version and they had it on Book Outlet, so that came home with me. As well as this version of Cinderella. I remember this from when I was a kid. This exact book cover. Like, I just, I, I remember this. And so, I picked this up because since we are doing the Middle Ages, I thought that would be a fun thing to stick in, one, in our morning basket one day next year. The next one I got is a book called Fireflies. And my kids love fireflies and I just thought the pictures were really cool in this and so I grabbed this and put it in our cart so that we can read this book about fireflies this summer. This is another book for Lily's curriculum for next year. It's called Millions of Cats. The next one is one of my personal favorites. Our last one got the cover ripped off. And again, I saw this as a suggested one when I added one of the other ones to my cart. And I was like, oh my goodness, they have this on there. So I grabbed this one when I was young in the mountains. Love this book. I used to use this in my classroom every year when I was teaching public school. And I always loved this story, but it's Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt. It's all about a quilt that is created to share instructions and directions on how to get to freedom. And I love the pictures. It's just an absolutely beautiful book. So I made sure to grab that. Okay, so the last two that I have, I grabbed this one. It's called The Empty Pot and it is set, it is set in China. And it just is a neat little folklore story. And so I grabbed this, the empty pot. And the last one I was super excited about. So Mr. Escape from Mr. Limoncello's library has actually been on our to read list for the past few years. And again, my friend Katie, she is currently reading it with her kids. And she was like, oh, they really love it. Well, I just happened to top it in on Book Outlet, and guess what? They had a three-book set for, I think I paid like $12 maybe for it, which actually I had points, so I didn't have to pay $12. So, but I think that's the price they had for it. But it is a three-book set. So, we are currently reading this already. My kids wanted to bust into this as soon as it came in, and my oldest is super excited because he already really, really likes this book as a read aloud, and so he can't wait to read these other two. It also came with a little journal. Um, I don't know if you can see that on there, but it came with a little journal, but it's not in here because one of my other sons grabbed it as soon as it came and he was like, can I please have the journal? So I just thought that was a really cool set and pick that up as well. So I wanted to share this video just for ideas on what I got recently. And just, I know sometimes book outlet can be a little bit overwhelming because it's like, well, how do you even find good books on there? The way I do it is I think about what are things I'm looking for, okay? So, if there's book titles specifically that I'm looking for, then I will type them in on there. 
sometimes they have them, a lot of times they don't. But the ones that they do have, if you go on there, a lot of times it'll give you suggested reading material down underneath that they have on their website. And that's usually how I go down the rabbit trail of finding all of these other ones. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's a really good book. I'd like to have that in our home library. So, um, so that is how I kind of pick books on Book Outlet, if you're curious how I even find these things. But I did want to share this haul with you guys today. I hope that you all are doing well and I hope that you enjoyed this haul and I will see you all on future videos. Thanks so much guys and have a blessed day.